Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is OXCVO. In today's video, I'm here to do a who to use on the challenge to veteran shinobi mission because I've had a lot of comments asking like they need a lot of help. I don't know what to do. I am stuck. So I'm going to show you all who are the best units to use to make you guys have a better chance to win these missions. Now, I have already completed all of them. But I still feel like a lot of people still haven't completed them and you know those 100 shinobites are really really nice And the stack card that we get is actually pretty decent as well So yeah, definitely do these missions also before we get started I just want to mention if you guys want me to do a live stream to help you all to do these missions Let me know down below. I will gladly help you all out. Uh, I think that's a pretty cool idea Let me know because we can now make lobbies. I can uh, you know make an ID and you guys can join that So if you guys want to have that let me know down below I'll gladly help you all and also before we get started, please hit a big thumbs up Also hit that subscribe button if you're new to my channel and also the notification bell So you won't miss any more of my uploads and yeah, let's just go ahead and get started All right, so here are the veteran shinobi missions and the list is very short because I have tested a lot of shinobis I have tested around 20 or so now the weakness to this mission is lunge and I've tested a lot of lunge people but not all of them work and not all of them really have any benefits so yeah I really like limited this list I believe to I believe five or six characters are actually of any use to this mission it's very very unbelievable actually this mission is very interesting compared to the other ones because like the boosted shinobi which is Madara, I actually do not recommend him. You know why? I'll explain that a little later. Actually, you know what? Let's start off with him. So, I'm gonna start off with Madara just to show you all how he works. And y'all, like, it's quite sad. It's quite sad. So, yeah, let's hop right into it. Alright, so I have a lobby right here. I'm gonna go with Madara. I have him at 143k power level, so he's pretty strong. I have two lunge kunai's equipped to them those are the only ones i have i only have two so yeah i'll just show you guys how he works out but y'all i really don't recommend him for a few reasons so he has two iframe he has a few iframes which are nice it does come in some handy but like even then i'll show you all what i mean like the only thing that does anything that's uh, good damage is his ultimate ignore that i got like blasted by that that's not why i'm here. just gonna show you guys the ultimate only the ultimate really matters and it kind of sucks actually so i'll show you all it, it barely even one shots you know like it doesn't do much he barely takes out any damage it's quite sad it is really really sad he's a boosted shinobi but like he doesn't do all that much and yeah it's just very confusing to me like i'd rather use other um, units that are here because they're they're just overall better i'll show you all in a few but yeah mother sadly i don't recommend him i mean okay he's not horrible if you have him and he's the only one that you have out of my list of course use him like he's not dealing horrible damage it's just like it's not the best i'll show you way better options like way way better options so yeah that was mother like as i said his damage is really really good for like the ultimate but other than the ultimate his damage is kind of lackluster and you don't want to wait to use the ultimate all the time as soon as you enter a room with a boss like that's just not gonna happen it's unrealistic and you are very close to killing the enemy with the ultimate i'm sure if it's like a level five ultimate or something that you're gonna one shot that's great but at a level one or a level three like mine at mine's at that level three it's not gonna kill the enemy just yet and that's kind of bad i mean like aside yeah i mean i just want to use my jutsus as well so i can keep on going you know you want to make sure you win the missions in time so let's move on to the next shinobi who i'm going to use which is shisui and the way i recommend using shisui is like this de equip his four star uh, and only have the teleport the combustive sword attack because that's lunge and the ultimate equipped and i'll show you all exactly why the reason why i'm doing that is because of this we all know shisui does have quite a little bit of a cp problem which is quite big yikes and you do not want that in this mission so the way to combat that is to only use the jutsu that has lunge and it does do damage over time as well and you do have the teleport but you also have the the ability to regenerate chakra with this move right here which does come in handy for Shisui because like as I said 
yeah, the secret problem can be real sometimes. All right, so I'll show you guys how he works out. And uh, it's good because the lunge move, this one, it is an iframe, so you will be able to dodge things. It's also damage over time, and damage over time actually does decent damage in this. So when you go into fight, it works out like this. So let's say we spawn Shikamaru, and damage-wise, it's not the best. However, look, the damage over time does take down 10k every second or so. And also with the little guys right here, he does deal pretty good damage. And you can also run around, you know, with the teleport and the speed up. It works out really, really well. And also, of course, because you de-equip one of the jutsus, you can regenerate chakra, which does come in a lot of handy. So, Shisui is decent. I like to use him because, you know, damage over time is pretty nice. He deals decent damage. Um... You know, that's about his ultimate. It's quite unnecessary, only, honestly, to use. It doesn't take down a lot. It takes down around 30k or so. So, yeah, I don't recommend that a whole lot. But it does work out. You know, he, he's pretty good with this short slash and damage over time. That's what I would like to use him for. But, of course, he still does have a CP problem. So, make sure you conserve it and do a bet. You know, just do a good job with conserving it. After Shitsui, I would put one more Shinobi. And that would be Kabuto with his two three stars, I believe. Let me see him right here. I just don't want to show showcase him because my Kabuto quite sucks because I don't have his ultimate, I don't have his abilities unlocked, things like that, but he does have two launch jutsus and I did see other people use them and it worked, it looked like it worked out pretty well, so yeah, I do recommend him as well and let's just hop right on to the next Shinobi which will actually be EMS Sasuke. So the reason why I'm choosing EMS Sasuke is because of this, so he does have defense down and his ultimate is lunge and so is his susano pierce and he deals pretty decent damage with the defense then i'll show you all that right now as i hop into the mission and it's pretty good he does have iframes so you will be to you will be able to dodge them things and yeah honestly he just works out pretty well all right so we entered the mission now he does have a few downsides like he doesn't have a teleport so tornado traps yeah he's very vulnerable to it but and see like his iframes really do come in handy if we enter this room and wait for these things to spawn and use it you don't get hit by it which is really really great now the th good thing about sasuke is this so he does have damage over time with that he can do defense down and this jutsu right here is lunge and so is his ultimate and his ultimate actually deals pretty good damage if the enemies are close to you so i'll show you all of that right now i'm gonna try to spawn shikamaru first so that if he does his ultimate i can just run away and now we're in the clear so let's just see right here see i can do damage over time he deals 10k per hit on the big enemies and this is where things get really really awesome so if you cast defense down like this and then use his jutsu look how much damage it did it did around 50k which is actually really really nice i did get hit by tamari's ultimate but um anyways let's move on to shikamaru who he has defense down and the ultimate should deal pretty decent damage if you're very up close to the enemy you'll deal almost the full he health down so it is actually pretty good i do recommend him but of course with these missions keep in mind you do need a good support system with you just one character i'll talk about him a little later of course which i think should be pretty obvious who to use but yeah you do need a good support system but look damage wise he was pretty good i cleared out a room pretty fast so yeah i do recommend ems sasuke a lot i think he is a great unit to use in these missions. Ian Masaki does work out really, really well in these missions. So yeah, he's really, really good. If you have him, use him. If you don't have anyone else, I'm going to show you a little more. We only have three more units to show here. So yeah, if you don't have any of those, and if you have Ian Masaki, do use him. He is really good. You'll be of good use to the team as well because of the defense down. So yeah, Ian Masaki gets an A plus from me. He is really, really good for these missions. So yeah, let's hop on to the next unit, which is OG Sarada. And well, she she is really, really, really good for this mission, especially if you have her ultimate. She's just extremely good. I'll show you all why a little bit later as we hop into it. But also keep in mind, I want to tell you guys that this isn't like an order who's best to worst. These are just the good units to use. So yeah, these aren't in order. I don't believe in like best to worst in these missions. It's just about who you have. And if you have these units, use them. And on to OG Sarda. OG Sarda can be of a lot of use to this mission for a few reasons. Uh, she can just spam her jutsus and she deals a crap ton of damage and i'll show you all that in a minute so if you use her ultimate she can just keep spamming everything that she has including her hop which does come in handy for tornado traps and things like that 
also evading a few things but she does have a few downsides she doesn't have any iframes she can die fairly easily and her defense yeah once again is just kind of bad but that's not why she's here she's here for damage and damage only you need you do need a good support system around her so that she can deal a lot of damage but even so as you guys see right here i'm dealing so much damage to tamari that it's just undescribable really it's just amazing she can clear out rooms she can clear out anything really if you're careful enough so um yeah look look at that i even defeated shikamaru right there she's just flipping them she's just flipping amazing so yeah that was really it look how fast i clear out a room she's just simply amazing for this mission oh and also another thing to know is that if you don't have the ultimate don't worry look at that i'm still dealing a lot of damage and you can just use both jutsu so that you can keep rotating each of them all around so yeah once again y'all she works really 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 well so next up down the list we have Oji Naruto specifically the Rika and a lot of times when I play this mission I have never seen anyone really use him and I'm not exactly sure why his damage is so good this jutsu is hands down the strongest damage dealer in the entire game in terms of just actual jutsus and it's also lunch and this entire mission is weak to lunch so I'm not really sure why I don't see a lot of people use him but yeah he's just really 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 good all around and I'll show you all that right here in a minute and also not only that that he's such a good damage dealer but he's also somewhat of a support because he can activate traps which does come in handy when you're in a room with full of tornado traps things like that so yeah, yeah, Oji Naruto is really, really good for this mission, and he can also paralyze the enemy. Uh, that doesn't always work in this mission. I'm not exactly sure why, but uh, yeah, so once again, he can activate traps, so you're sort of free from tornado traps, really. You don't have to worry too, too much, and yeah, that makes things a lot easier, really. Like, you don't have to make sure that, you know, you're walking slow. You can just go on ahead, really. So when it comes to iframes, once again, just like Sarada, he doesn't have any. He does have somewhat of a CP problem and his defense sucks pretty bad as well but he's here for damage and if you have a good support system around you you'll be fine really look i'm gonna show you guys here with tamari let's get her here uh let me see let's come closer tamari all right beautiful all right that was an iframe so that doesn't really really count yeah see the paralyze doesn't always work but look that jutsu took down a lot and a lot of damage look at that 30k 20k things like that yeah he's really 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 good i really really do enjoy this naruto for this mission and I, once again i don't know why the paralyze doesn't work but yeah for real that was really it look at that in terms of room clearing out he's not the best for that but yeah that's really not what you're gonna use him for you're just there strictly for the damage but he does have a cp problem as you guys see right here my cp is dying slowly but surely and last but certainly not least it's my boy klm naruto and for a few reasons really uh what makes him amazing for this mission is of course his invincibility for support there is no comparison he is hands down the best you can save your team in a lot of situations but when it comes to the damage and eh, he's not that great really i don't recommend him at all when it comes to damage like he's really really bad compared to the rest but even then he will deal somewhat decent damage but for real you're only using him for that invincibility and support and you need that for this mission so definitely use this naruto you're gonna come in a lot of clutch and you're gonna save your team from a lot of bad decisions so yeah let me just show you guys the damage it's not that great at all but if you are careful you know you can be somewhat successful like you can be alive and things like that and once again look damage are time on me right i'm sealed i can't do anything but once my uh, heal is back look at that everything is all good and use the ultimate and the damage wise once again really not good at all but that's once again not why you're using him you're just here for the support and of course he can also knock back enemies which does come in somewhat of a handy situation so like you know someone's about to use their ultimate you feel like they're about to use the ultimate you can knock them back and the teammates like oji naruto or sarade can come in and finish it off Alrighty, y'all. So that was it for this video, really. Um, these are the only units I felt like they have any use for the team. You could use Tsunade. You could use, like, uh, Shikamaru's boosting ult if you really want to. If you don't have anyone else, you know, use some supporting things like defense down, heals, things like that. They will all come in handy. It's just these are the ones I feel like are the best of the best. So I hope you all learned something. I hope this will help you guys finish these missions. And, of course, if you guys need additional help, I'll gladly do these live streams and host lobbies and we 
we could do together. Let me know down below if you guys want that. And yeah, if you enjoyed this video, please hit a big thumbs up. Comment down below if you guys feel like I missed any shinobis that were really good for this mission. Let me know for real. I feel like these are the only ones that have any use. But yeah, for real, let me know. And also hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell as well so that you won't miss any more of my videos. And I will see you all in my next one. Oxivo is out. Yo, stop. Bro.